warm winter welcome, this for the fifth time this week, to René Sporavillis. So the first of the best of breed winners is the Alaskan Malamute, followed by the Bernese Mountain Dog and the Bouvier de Flandre and the Boxer, followed by the Bull Mastiff and the Doberman, the Dogue de Bordeaux, the Giant Schnauzer, the Great Dane and the Leonberger, the Mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff, the Newfoundland and the Portuguese Water Dog, the Rottweiler, the Russian Black Terrier, the St. Bernard, and the Siberian Husky. So we have a complete working group here for those breeds that we classify. So we have the Akita in this group. Yeah, no. The sixth of the groups wins the 2014 Don't Set Up. You're moving round. You're moving round, sir, with the St Bernard. You're moving round, thank you. Stretching across many continents, from North America through Europe and onto Asia, there's a real diversity of size and build in the working group. Yet they've all got one thing in common, which is their ability to work. Guarding, tracking, rescuing, hunting, hauling and herding. These are just a few adjectives to describe the very vital work at which these working dogs excel. Our judge today of the Alaska Malamutes, the first dog in this working group, was Lynn Salt. And Lynn had an entry of 74. She chose a male for double five eight. And it was the Inuit tribe called the Malamute, located in, located in Western Alaska, which gave this breed its name. Originally bred for hauling heavy loads at a steady place and often over very long distances, their harsh and thick double coat is vital for protection against the extreme weather conditions, especially the Arctic snow. This is not just a sled dog. The Alaska Malamute was also used for search and rescue in Greenland during the Second World War. This is for double five eight, the Alaska Malamute Best of Breed. <laughs> Heather Head was the judge of the Bernese Mountain Dogs. There were 68 here today, and this is another male for 614. Originating from the Swiss Alps and known in Germany and Switzerland as the Berner Sennenhund. The Bernese is easily identified by its striking tricolour markings, black, tan and white. Used by the weavers of Bern as a draft dog, they were also popular with farmers for herding sheep and cattle and for all round general duties including guarding too. Forty six one four, the best of breed winning Bernese Mountain Dog. <laughs> Francis Kral was the judge of the Bouvier de Flandre. Francis had an entry of eighteen and chose another male, four six seven six, as her best of breed winner. As his name suggests, the Bouvier originates from Flanders and is found in both Belgium and France where the word Bouvier literally translates as cattle herder or ox drover. But its date of origin is somewhat murky, possibly dating to around about 1810. Bred by the monks at the Cherduan Monastery by mixing wolfhounds and deerhounds with local farm dogs, 
a hardy and even-tempered dog emerged. Forty-six, seventy-six, the Bouvier de Flandre, best of breed. Barbara Morrison was the judge of boxers today. There was an entry of 117, and this time it was a female to come through for 707. <laughs> Developed in Germany, it's believed that the Bulldog, the Great Dane, and the Bullenbeiser, which literally means bull biter, are behind the breed which developed in the late 19th century. The breed was first shown in 1895 at the Munich Dog Show, and the first breed club was established the following year. During World War I, boxers were co-opted for military work, acting as important messenger dogs, pack couriers, and also as guard dogs. Forty-seven zero seven, the best of breed winning boxer. Kirsten Cole was the judge of bull mastiffs, and from an entry of seventeen, it was another female four eight one four eight one five that Kirsten selected. A British breed, the bull mastiff evolved from the old English mastiff and the bulldog. First recognised by the Kennel Club in 1924 stroke 25, it was the wardens and gamekeepers of large country estates who developed the breed. Became known as the gamekeeper's night dog. 4815, the best of breed winning a ball mastiff. Dobermans were judged by Debbie Stansbury. This is a dog, 4862, selected from 93. The birthplace of the Dove is the town of Apolda in Thuringia, German. It was a tax collector called Karl Doberman who developed the breed. Some say that the German pincher, Beauceron, Rottweiler, Varmer, and Alsatian and Manchester Terrier were all used to refine the breed to combine strength, speed, intelligence, and loyalty. It was at the famous Kennel Club show of 1933, held at Crystal Palace, the Doberman was first seen. The best of breed winning Doberman, a 4938. Frances Kral has had a busy day today. This was also her breed, the Dogue de Bordeaux. Frances had a good entry of 53. She selected a male, 4938. So we've moved from Germany to France. And this is a very ancient French breed, known also as the Bordeaux Mastiff, which can be traced back to the 14th century. The breed has been used in many ways. His strength to pull heavy objects and carts, a good guarder of flocks and a protection dog for castles and estates. Doves, as we know them today, were developed and refined by a group of French breeders led by Raymond Triquet in the 1960s. For 938, Mr. Breed winning Dove de Bordeaux. Sue Cox was the judge of our giant schnauzers, and from an entry of 26, it was another male, 4987, selected. This is another German derivative here, the largest of the three schnauzer breeds. The first giants can be traced back to Swabia in the German state of Bavaria, also Württemberg in the 17th century. During the First World War, the giant schnauzer became known outside of Germany as the military dog renowned for its tracking skills. Four nine eight seven, the best of breed winning giant schnauzer.
Janice King was the judge of our Great Danes today. Janice had a good entry of 82. She selected the bitch 5014. Although the name links this breed to Denmark, it's in actual fact the national dog of Germany, where it's referred to as the Deutsche Doggen or German Boarhound. In the 1930s, the famous Sen Kennel of Great Danes were the breed of choice for the National Safety First Association, with Danes taking part in nationwide films aimed at teaching children and youngsters road safety across the UK. Five zero one for the best of breed winning Great Dane. Caroline King Churn was the judge of the Liam Burgers. Caroline had an entry of fifty six and chose a male five one two three. So staying in Germany, we move back to the Black Forest. From the Black Forest, sorry, to the city of Leonberg in the Baden-Württemberg area where we find the origins of the Leonberger. Popular legend has it that the breed was bred to resemble the animal of the city's crest and coat of arms, the lion. <laughs> Leonbergs have been said to owe their being to a mixture of the Newfoundland and the Pyrenean mountain dog. By the end of the 19th century, Leos, as they're known, were popular farm dogs, good at guarding and drafting. Five, one, two, three, the Leonberg. Five, one, three, eight, the best of breed winning Mastiff, judged by Torsten Nisch. The oldest illustrations of a Mastiff type dog dates back to 2200 BC, a copy of which actually appeared in the Kennel Gazette of 1933. In medieval times, the breeze was used for bull, bear, and lion baiting, and later for guarding and protecting estates. The Mastiff Club was formed in 1873, with ten years of turmoil following the formation of the Old English Mastiff Club, being seen in 1883. Best of breed winning a Mastiff 5138. Here we see the Neapolitan Mastiff, also judged by Torsten today. Best of breed is 5144. This is an ancient Italian breed, evolving as a guard dog for both people and property, a job they do well. And although the Neapolitan doesn't bark a lot, the sheer presence is enough to deter intruders. Best of breed winning Neapolis and Mastiff 5144. Lucinda Burgess was our judge of Newfoundland. From entry of 93, it was the male 5186, chosen as best of breed. So we've moved continent once again to look at this Newfoundland, and there seems to be some mystery as to just to where this gentle giant does come from. Did it come from the Canadian province of Newfoundland, as the name suggests, or was it developed in the polar region by travelling tribes? This one is an ongoing debate. Edwin Lancer, who designed the lions in Trafalgar Square, was the most famous animal artist of the Victorian era. Saved is the title of one of his famous paintings showing the black and white Newfoundland rescuing a child from the water. And so the colour variety of this breed, this colour was the Landseer for this breed. Here we see a black. The best of breed winning Newfoundland, 5186. Carol Green judged the Portuguese water dogs. There were 24 here and it's another male, 5250 chosen.
fairly recent newcomer to the UK, the Portuguese water dog originates from the Algarve region of Portugal, where it's known as the cow de agua, literally translating to dog of the water. This breed is also used as a customs and tracker dog. Best of breed, winning Portuguese water dog 5250. Robin Newhouse was our judge at Rottweilers. Robin had an entry of 119 and he's chosen a male 5357. So we move back from Portugal to Germany, originally known as the Rottweiler Metzgerhund, translating to butcher's dog from Rottweil. The breed became known for its skills in droving and draft work, often pulling carts of fresh meat and other market products. <laughs> Rottweilers were first seen in the UK in 1936 and become increasingly popular. Five, three, five, seven, the best of breed winning rock. <laughs> Nigel Luxmore Ball was the judge of Russian Black Terriers. There are 20 here today, and this is a female, five, three, eight, three. The Russian Black was recognized in the UK in 1998. Believed to have had a variety of breeds behind him, including two breeds, but we've also seen in this group the Rottweiler and the Giant Schnauzer, and it's also suggested that the Airedale Terrier is involved somewhere too. Serving as a police dog and a guard dog in native Russia, it's waterproof and dense undercoat protecting from the harshness of severe weather conditions. 5393, the Russian Black Terrier. Paul Girling was the judge of St Bernard's. We have an entry of 30. This is another male, 5416. First written records of St Bernard are from the monastery hospice monks of the great St Bernard Pass in Switzerland in the mid to late 17th and 18th century. Although it is believed that the breed was brought back to, from the Alps as far back as Roman times. This is the national dog of Switzerland. St. Bernard's become famous for its excellent reputation as an alpine rescue dog. <laughs> Five, four, one, six. The St. Bernard. So, Nigel Luxmore Ball had a busy day today. He had 75 Siberian Huskies to judge as well, and he selected a female, 5500. Though taking its name from the Siberian Arctic, the country of registration for this breed is actually America. It was a Chuchkai tribe looking for a long distance sled hauling dog who developed the breed, and it's believed to be a very ancient breed of dog, too. They're the lightest built and fastest of all the sled dog breeds. Very, very active individuals. The best of breed winning Siberian Husky double five, double zero. Our judge is having one final look at the working group in its entirety. This is the sixth of the seventh groups at Windsor.
the, As the Alaskan Malamute, the Burnese Mountain Dog, and the Bouvier. The Doberman, the Doe de Bordeaux, the Giant Schnauzer, the Newfoundland, and the Rottweiler. Well done to those other best of breed winners that can leave the ring. So if I could ask the Alaska Malamute to take them round, please. This is the finalist of the Working Group Winter 2014. The Alaska Malamute sent through by Lynn Salt. The best of breed winning Alaska Malamute, and this is four five five eight. The second of the shortlisted dogs is the Bernese Mountain Dog. Sent through to us by Heather Head. This is another male for 614. Best of breed winning Bernese Mountain Dog. Francis Kral was the judge of the Bouvier de Flandre. It's a male for 676. The best of breed winning a Bouvier de Flandre. Now it's the turn of the Doberman. The selection of Debbie Stansbury. This is a male. 48-62, the best of breed winning Doberman. Frances Kral's had a good day today because both of her best of breed winners have been shortlisted. And this is the Dope de Bordeaux. 4938, the best of breed winning Dope de Bordeaux. Now it's the turn of the giant schnauzer, sent through by Sue Cox. This is another male. In fact, all of our shortlisted dogs are males, so the boys have it in this group. It's got a lovely slope on top of the room. It is a German pond. 4987, the best of breed winning giant schnauzer. So just two more to go. The Newfoundland, the choice of Lucinda Burgess. Five one eight six, the best of breed winning and you found them. And bringing up the rear, it's the Rottweiler sent through to us by Robin Newhouse. Oops. 
53-57, the best of breed winning Rottweiler. So Lanier has a final look at her eight shortlisted dogs while she does that. It's perhaps timely that we get the balls into position. She'll let us know when she's made her decision. She has made her decision. And the winner of Windsor's Working Group 2014 is, it's the Alaskan Malamute. Congratulations, 4558, five, second in the Working Group, is the Doberman, 4862, third in the Working Group. It's the Bernese Mountain Dog, 4614, and fourth in the working group. It's the Rottweiler. Five, three, five, seven. Well done to those other four shortlisted dogs. But huge congratulations to the Alaska Malamut. And if I, if I could ask Helena Hutchins, please, to present the trophy to the winner of Windsor's sixth working group. And a round of applause, please, for your judge, who's done a great job today. Thank you very much for the Spoiler of Healers. Alison Morton will present the Royal Canyon Rosettes and sponsorship. Starting with the winner of the working group, congratulations to the Alaska Malamutes.